Hi, welcome to another Great Car Basic demonstration. This one is a follow-up to the previous ones. This is debugging with PitKit Plus using a PitKit 2 programming. Can't do this with a PitKit 3, but you can do it with a PitKit 2. So what have I got here? Same as before, I've got a board. And on this board, I've got a chip, same chip as previously. PitKit 2 connected here. I've got serial connected here, but don't worry about that. Ignore it. I've got a pot connected to AN0 on the chip, and that's what we're going to be using for debug. So I can rotate this, and we're going to put values out on the on that screen. So what we're, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a program. So here's an editor. Here's a PitKit 2. I'm going to in over here. And I'm just going to um, make sure that it, just make sure things are all good with their power on it. So we're going to create a program. Um, that's the chip. I'm going to put option explicit on because that's always good practice. I'm going to create a variable called um, debug underscore variable. Ooh, not spelled correctly. As a byte, as a byte, and then what we're going to do, we do we're going to do a do loop, and we're going to read in, we're going to put out on the serial port, a serial print, a value of this debug variable, and we're going to get this debug variable from um, an ADC read on AN0. Okay, so this code. It's not the purpose, this is just what I've been doing all the whole time, very similar each time. And then down here, I need to put a carriage term, line feed, after that. And it will put it out to the serial. Okay, so if we just compile that up, make sure the code is generally good, I should have a wait as well. Okay, all right. Good practice. Okay. Wait one millisecond. It will work. Okay, now, this particular chip happens to be a PPS chip. So I just need to set up the um, serial, okay, um, for um, this this part, okay. So I'm going to click PPS tool, and um, it starts up another screen, and I've got the chips pre-selected. So I'm going to select transmit one, a, a TX one look. I'm going to put it on a port. Now, which port is going to be? It's interesting because we're going to have to have a look at the data sheet because the way this thing works, right, it's quite simple, is we're going to hook up to the UART tool in the PitKit Plus. So I'm going to select here, UART tool in PitKit Plus. Now, that's from earlier on. So we are going to connect as per this here. Here is my PitKit. I've got a VDD, a ground RX, and a TX. So I need to connect the TX of my my microcontroller through the RX on here, which is pin four. Okay, so um, let's have a look. I know I know this stuff, so that's not what we're looking for here. ISCP port. Let me just pull up a diagram diagram on um, Google for you. Great. I'm just looking on a picket to I'll just look up on here for you. That was it. This one here, this diagram here. So I'm just putting up a diagram on another screen. So if we look at this, this is the connections of um, of the pit kit, and that relates directly to this um, UART that's shown here. Okay, so we've got uh, master clear VDD ground PGD. Well, trust me, that is pin four, which is on here, and that connects to typically um, this particular pin. This that's RB seven, and it's quite common. Go check that on your port. On your particular setup so I'm going to connect that to RB7 which is like shown in here because that's my transmit line 
I'm going to add that into here and then copy that into my source code for Great Car Basic. Now, I need to put that in here. That's that part done. And then finally, I just need to set up the um, the um, serial again. So what I do is I press help. I take this little bit of code down here. Um, it's here. I'm just going to take those UART settings to tell it to set it to 9600. And now I'm going to program it. Okay, so it's going to program it, and it's going to put that out on that, um, on there. So hopefully, if I can back my little camera here, hopefully coming out from here into these little wires over here are some signals. So how do I read those? I read those, as I said, in the pit kit to UART. And um, here we go. So if I press connect, I've got everything ready. Um, we will um, see some output, hopefully. So here it goes. Now the um, the values. So these values are coming in from the uh, serial, uh, from the pot, from the chip. If I change that value there, you can see it now rotates. So I can easily, yeah, output the serial on a PPS chip to that particular port. It's very, very simple. I've not changed anything. You know, I'm programming it. Yes, I've got to disconnect it so I can reprogram it. But with a PPS chip, I can easily use the programmer to actually do my debugging. There we go. So, you know, it's really very simple to get a serial port up and running. Now, if, um, if you have um, um, a a standard chip without PPS you're clearly going to have to hook up the serial uh, the TX to that RX line on the or the PDG on the um, on the um, kit 2. Now if you wanted to then use the the send so you can send messages like hello and get them to come back that's fine if you look in the help there's a thing that's in the in the help here look look down the bottom example programs um serial ring buffer let me just think or is it in a demo yeah, I, I would take uh, something like the serial ring buffer take the serial ring buffer code from here down I would go and put that in a program. I would then, rather than have it in this do loop here, I'd have it read a byte in and then put that same byte back on, out on the code. But you know, it's all very simple stuff, okay? All right. But the purpose today is to show you that we are getting values, the debug values, from a particular entry onto the screen. Really very simple, okay? So, purpose of that was to show you. Um, debugging using a PitKit 2, but using the PitKit um, PitKit Plus software um, because that supports the newer chips. Okay, all right. So yeah, you can do a lot of this with the old PitKit software, but if you want to like use these new chips, you need PitKit Plus. Okay, I am not plugging that software. Different set of videos. Okay, we'll call that a wrap.